Welcome back, Finance Homefront viewers. Today, we're diving into a timely and crucial topic, the recent plunge of the crypto fear and greed index amidst market turmoil. Thank you for joining us. Before we begin, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for updates on all things finance. And as always, a quick reminder, the insights we discuss here are for educational purposes only. We're not offering financial advice. Let's jump right in. In recent months, the sentiment surrounding cryptocurrencies has swung dramatically, as reflected by the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, a widely followed metric that tracks investor emotions in the volatile crypto market. Initially soaring to extreme greed levels earlier this year, the index has since plummeted to depths of fear not seen since the aftermath of the 2022 crypto winter. This drastic shift has left analysts and investors alike pondering the future direction of Bitcoin and other digital assets. Understanding the Crypto Fear and Greed Index The Fear and Greed Index is a popular metric used in financial markets to gauge investor sentiment and assess the overall mood of the market. It provides a snapshot of whether investors are feeling fearful, bearish, or greedy, bullish, about the current state of the stock market or other financial assets. Here's a thorough explanation of what the Fear and Greed Index entails. Purpose and Calculation 1. Purpose The Fear and Greed Index aims to quantify and visualize investor sentiment, which plays a crucial role in market dynamics. It helps investors, traders, and analysts understand the prevailing emotional tone among market participants. 2. Calculation The index aggregates various indicators and data points related to market sentiment. Common factors include Stock price momentum Strength and direction of recent stock price movements. Market volatility degree of fluctuations in the market, often measured by volatility indices like the VIX. Put call ratio of put options, bearish bets, to call options. Bullish bets, traded on major exchanges. Market breadth indicators such as the number of stocks advancing versus declining. Safe haven. Demand for safe haven assets like gold or bonds during uncertain times. Junk bond. Demand interest in lower rated corporate bonds, which can reflect risk appetite. Looking at interpretation. 1. Fear versus Greed. The index typically ranges from 0 to 100. A reading towards 0 indicates extreme fear, suggesting widespread pessimism and potential undervaluation of assets. Conversely, a reading towards 100 indicates extreme greed, indicating high optimism and potentially overvalued market conditions. 2. Market Timing Indicator. Extreme readings on the Fear and Greed Index can be interpreted as contrarian indicators. For example, when the index shows extreme fear, low values, it may signal a buying opportunity as markets could be oversold. Conversely, extreme greed, high values, might suggest a market correction or a potential time to consider profit-taking. 3. Trends and Sentiment Shifts The index also tracks trends in sentiment over time showing how investor sentiment evolves during market cycles. Rapid shifts from extreme fear to extreme greed or vice versa can indicate rapid changes in market dynamics and potential volatility ahead. Let us discuss usage and considerations. 1. Complementary Tool It's essential to use the Fear and Greed Index alongside other fundamental and technical analysis tools. It provides a sentiment perspective that complements broader market analysis. Two. Contextual understanding context is crucial when interpreting the index. Market conditions, economic factors, geopolitical events, and other macroeconomic trends can influence sentiment and the validity of the index's signals. 3. Limitations Like any sentiment indicator, the Fear and Greed Index is not foolproof and can sometimes be subject to market noise or temporary emotional reactions. It's important not to rely solely on this index for investment decisions, but to integrate it with a comprehensive investment strategy. In summary, the Fear and Greed Index serves as a valuable sentiment gauge in financial markets, helping investors navigate the emotional landscape that often accompanies market movements. By understanding whether fear or greed dominates, investors can gain insights into potential market opportunities and risks. We must look at market factors, driving the fear out in the crypto market. 
One significant factor contributing to the recent downturn is the substantial sell-off of seized Bitcoin by governments, including Germany and the United States. Reports indicate that these governments hold billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, acquired through various legal actions. The influx of these coins into the market exerts significant downward pressure on prices, exacerbating the current bearish sentiment. Additionally, the ongoing refund process initiated by the estate of Mt. Gox, a now-defunct Japanese cryptocurrency exchange, has further fueled selling pressure. Mt. Gox, once a dominant force in the crypto exchange landscape, collapsed in 2014 amidst allegations of theft and mismanagement. The recent decision to refund investors has led to a sizable amount of Bitcoin and other assets being liquidated, contributing to the current market instability. Rachel Lin, CEO and co-founder of Sin Futures, a derivatives trading venue, highlighted these factors in a recent market update. According to Lin, the combined impact of government sales and Mt. Gox refunds creates a multi-billion dollar overhang on the market, weighing heavily on investor sentiment and market prices. Amidst these turbulent market conditions, analysts are divided on Bitcoin's near-term outlook. Marcus Thield, founder of 10X Research, revised his price target downward from $55,000 to $50,000 in response to the heightened selling pressure and market uncertainty. Thield noted that August and September historically posed challenges for Bitcoin, citing seasonal trends and potential regulatory developments. However, Thielid also expressed a potential catalyst for a market turnaround and anticipated interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve in September. According to Thielid, such a move could reignite investor interest and spark a new rally in Bitcoin and other digital assets. This view underscores the interconnectedness of global macroeconomic factors and their impact on cryptocurrency markets. For seasoned investors, extreme fear levels in the crypto fear and greed index may present buying opportunities. Historically, such downturns have often preceded market recoveries and subsequent price appreciation. However, the decision to buy amidst market turmoil requires careful consideration of various factors. Lin cautioned that while extreme fear can signal potential buying opportunities, the current market environment remains highly uncertain. The extent of selling pressure from Mt. Gox refunds in particular remains a critical determinant of Bitcoin's short-term price trajectory. Should selling exceed expectations, Lin warned of the possibility of Bitcoin revisiting the $50,000 support level in the near future. In conclusion, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index offers a valuable window into the emotional pulse of the cryptocurrency market. Its recent nosedive into fear territory reflects broader concerns and uncertainties among investors, driven by significant sell-offs and regulatory developments. While analysts debate the potential for a market rebound, caution remains paramount in navigating these turbulent waters. Investors and stakeholders in the crypto space must stay informed and vigilant, monitoring both technical indicators and macroeconomic trends. The future trajectory of Bitcoin hinges not only on market sentiment, but also on regulatory decisions, institutional interest, and global economic developments. As the market continues to evolve, adaptability and strategic decision-making will be key to navigating the complexities of the digital asset landscape. Ultimately, while the current sentiment may appear bleak, seasoned investors recognize that volatility often presents opportunities. Whether Bitcoin rebounds from its current lows or faces further challenges, the resilience of the cryptocurrency ecosystem underscores its ongoing relevance and potential for long-term growth amidst fluctuating market sentiments. Guys, in conclusion, while the Crypto Fear and Greed Index reflects the current turbulence in the cryptocurrency market, it also underscores the resilience and potential for growth in digital assets. As investors navigate these uncertain times, staying informed and adaptable will be crucial. Whether Bitcoin rebounds from its current lows or faces further challenges, the evolving landscape of cryptocurrencies offers opportunities for those willing to navigate these volatile waters strategically. Stay tuned for more updates and insights on Finance Homefront, where we dive deep into the world of finance and investments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.